favorite <laughs> acai trucks in town. I love using our parking lot for stuff. So um, you were actually one of the people who told me about this truck, Rob. So thank you for that. But we sure. have them here. It's Roots Acai and Cafe. They are going to be providing breakfast for us if we give them money. So <laughs> so we can take all of our orders. I already got Aaron's order, so he's going to come out in a little bit to uh, so we can give it to him. But um. This is Justin. Say hello to Justin. He is the owner of this place. So I'm just kind of curious. What made you want to start a food truck with a berry? A berry? It's because of uh, my Brazilian jiu-jitsu roots. I've been doing Brazilian jiu-jitsu for about 10 years and uh, would travel down to L.A. to jiu-jitsu tournaments and the only time I could ever have it was at tournaments. Mm -hmm. So I figured why, why can't we have it here in Bakersfield? Interesting. Do you branch out back to L.A. with the truck? Um, whenever we can, we do uh, we do tournaments, uh, but there's so much competition. This is a really big thing in LA, but in Bakersfield it's really new. So we try to stay up here and try to spread the word. Okay, so proper pronunciation, because I know when I first saw this a long time ago, I'm, I couldn't even figure out how to how the heck to say it. It's pronounced acai. 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 Okay, and it has a lot of benefits. Not only is it healthy, but I feel like there's a bunch of other stuff. Do you want to? Give us a rundown. Um, it's high in um, it's a uh, high in antioxidants, omega threes, fatty acids. It promotes heart health, uh, blood flow. Um, it's ranked uh, as the number one uh, berry in the uh, ORAC category. It's uh, the uh, amount of oxygen that helps move through your body. So um, every scoop of our acai sorbet has uh, on the scale is 3,500 um, ORAC. Oh wow! So it's. So you use a sorbet, not the actual berry. We use the berry, but we use the oh, sorbet okay. of the berry. All right. So let's go inside and take a look at this place. Which way should I go? That way, that way. Go around. I'm going this way. All right. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're meeting on the other side. Me and our our guy over here. LJ, after you or after me? Okay. I'm first. So this is what it looks like. This is nice and cute. So you already got two little things ready for yeah, us. We actually have um, acai and since uh, we started, we actually brought on uh, pitaya, which is uh, dragon fruit. Oh wow, that's so, supposed to be really good too. Yes, it's really high in fiber. Um, the uh, the differences aren't the same. One is from the acai berry is from the acai berry is from Brazil, and the uh, pitaya is from Nicaragua. Mmm. Okay. So wait, that's the this acai. This is this is acai sorbet. Wow, the passion. That's the dragon fruit. This is passion. Uh, passion. Sorry, dragon fruit. Sorry, I got you confused. Okay, <laughs> this is so vibrant. Mm, it smells so good. Okay, so what do you think we're going to make Aaron for the next segment? Um, Aaron, Aaron usually likes to have everything that we have. Oh, he does. Yeah. Okay, good to know. So, Aaron, uh, up for you. We're gonna make you something a little tasty. I'm not sure which one I'm I gonna pick wait. for you, but I'm gonna. I can't oh, there wait. he is. I can't wait. You scared me. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna have yours up in a little bit. Right now, Rob, back to you. Thanks. We made this one for Amity. Oh, I've never had yeah. one. I'm, I'm all about it. Yeah. It's well, I hope you like it. I well, you know, you you've, got to, you've got to let them know, too, that my wife's watching, and uh, she requests one as well. My wife's <laughs> the most loyal. <laughs> Is she? Ruth Sassi, I yeah. love yeah. it. Yep. Deal. Justin, uh, Rob's wife wants one, too, just so you know. He's used to it. He already told me I was going to give this one to you, Rob, and he was like, Rob won't like it. Rob likes, Rob likes the other one. So Justin knows. Let's go take a tour around the corner so you can see what the inside looks like. Justin, the owner, made this for us earlier. Thank you so much. Ooh, thank you again. Okay, so welcome to the inside of the acai food truck. I feel weird calling it a food truck. It is a food truck. Trailer. There's food. food. There's food trailer. A, yeah, there's a food trailer. Perfect. Okay, so which one's this one? Because this one's not the acai, right? That is the pitaya. That is the dragon fruit. And what did you put in it? That has uh, hemp seed, granola, bananas, and strawberries. Bananas, strawberries, granola. Okay, yum. That looks delicious. So we're going to make another one. Now let's talk about the acai, though, because I know it's supposed to be really healthy. Why are you looking at me like that? It's supposed to be really healthy and good for you. And this is what it is. Yes, that is a sorbet of the acai berry. Okay. And um, I was actually reading about it, and they use it in cosmetics, too, because of the antioxidants. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, and skin health. It promotes skin health. He would know, obviously, because yeah. he's the owner of this truck. You have a co-owner, right? Yes, uh, my best friend from Hawaii, Josh Fenderson. He's a doctor, and his when he came aboard, he loved the idea of acai. He's never he never had it before. I brought it up to him, but oh, really? he looked into it just like you did, and found about found out about all the medical benefits of it. So he was on board as soon as he being a doctor. Like the super fruit. Yes, it is. I'm excited to try it. Okay, so let's make this one up for Aaron. So you've met our entire staff <laughs> because they all you all know you already know what they like. Uh, yeah, Aaron. Yeah, uh, Rob is one of our regular customers. His wife comes by the farmers market at uh, Hagen Oaks um, 
weekly. So we know quite a few of them. Okay. So we'll teach me how to make this up for Aaron at least. We'll get Rob's next and then maybe Erica's too. So we're going to do a little, blueberry. that's coconut, right? That's coconut shavings, blueberries, strawberries, uh, our granola, and then we do uh, peanut butter, um, protein powder, and our bananas. And you have like three or four that I saw on the menu outside, yeah. but if people want to kind of custom make yeah, theirs. Yeah, they can make it their own way. And then do you do parties by any chance? Yeah, we cater parties. We've uh, done weddings where we've dropped off catered, and then uh, we do uh, the Hagen Oaks Farmer's Market every Sunday. And we parked at uh, we park at uh, Mr. Tuxedo um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So how can people find you? Do you tweet out your location, or you have uh, a we, set place? We have a set Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're at Mr. Tuxedo on okay. Brandage Lane. Um, Facebook is our we, at, we every day when we're out we post where we're at on Facebook. Oh, got it. Okay. So let's whip this one up. So we're doing. You already did the scoops. How many scoops is that? That, that is uh that is three big scoops. Uh, that's about nine ounces of acai. Okay. So nine ounces of acai. What do I do next? Who are you staring at? Oh. <laughs> And we're going to do, for Aaron, he's usually a deluxe guy, so we're going to put granola. We're going to put granola on it. One scoop, two ounces of granola. Okay. Banana. Do you have kid sizes? Um, no, we do not. Okay. We do have popsicles, though, for, oh, for the go. kids. If the kids want the popsicles. Oh, wow. Master skills. Did you go to chef school? No, I did not. Oh, man. Not for us, I Okay. <laughs> well, he had some nice stuff. Okay. Okay, so we had some strawberries. This is a lot of healthy all in one little bowl. Yeah, it's, it packs a punch. And blueberries. Blueberries are good for the mind and the soul. And then coconut. Did you just want to add coconut? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, pretty much. A little bit of coconut. And then you have peanut butter. Do you have almond butter out there? Yes, we do. You do. Uh -huh. Aaron, do you want peanut butter, almond butter? Oh, well, I, I want it all. I'm ready. <laughs> Aaron, you look like a caveman. Okay. What is going on here? Okay, so, um, Aaron, I like that you don't want to get your outfit dirty by putting your bib uh, on. Yeah. Our, <laughs> our viewers are first and foremost, so. <laughs> of course. Now, look at this. Please take the biggest, biggest bite full of that and put as many of the ingredients in your mouth as you possibly can in I'm one scoop. I'm going to make a mess all over his floor, so I don't want to do that, but uh, I will take my time. Just, just really you small. You didn't even get anything. I know. What it is take, that? It takes a minute to get to the bottom. Oh, boo. All right, so really Aaron, Aaron's going to continue working on his uh, wonderful acai bowl. We're going to have more with Justin and the truck here on Night Witness News at our parking lot. Um, yeah, Rob, back to you. Yeah, with more. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Rob. So this is um, an acai bowl. It's not complete yet because I just wanted to taste what it tastes, what it is all about. It's really good, but you are inside the food truck. This is the Acai food truck. Roots Acai and Cafe. And they can find you on Facebook. Just like that. You can find them on Twitter, too. You can find them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You can find them everywhere. He says social media savvy. Say hello to Justin. He's one of the owners. You actually have a partner who's not with us today. Uh, Josh Fenderson. And what does he do again? He's a doctor. He's oh. a... Um, he has a good excuse for yeah, not getting up early. Yeah. <laughs> he's, and he's in Hawaii, so it'd be kind of a... Oh, uh -oh. nice. Alright, so let's talk about acai. So that's the proper way to pronounce it, acai, not acai or acai or whatever else people say. So it's acai, I just learned that too recently. I was pronouncing it incorrectly the entire time too. And it's um, from South America, right? Central and South America? Yeah, it's from the uh, rainforest in Brazil, nice. from the Amazon. And you got into this because you do jiu-jitsu? I do Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So every, every time that we, uh, about Ten years ago when I first started, the only time you could ever have that was down in L.A. So the Brazilians would make it there and you would get it at tournaments, and that was the only time. Really? Yeah. So how often did you eat it back then when you were doing the tournaments? Do, wait, do you still do tournaments now? Uh, not, not not as of right now, but I okay. still do jiu-jitsu. So you're eating it a lot? Yeah. But it used to be you could only get it maybe twice a year if you went down to L.A. to get it, but now it's, it's, it's becoming more popular. So how long did it take you to kind of start this business? We were actually, uh, last month we were a year. We were a really? year. Yeah. So, so kind of brand new. Yeah, we're very brand new. Nice. So were you doing this anywhere else prior, like those little stands or anything, or did it just start started, with the truck? We started with the truck, and uh, we our goal is to actually have a stationary location where people can come and sit down and enjoy it, and we can kind of broaden our menu. How exciting. What else are you going to add to the menu? Right now you have four specific items, right? We have four bowls plus the pitaya bowl, but we want to try to stay within bowls and try to uh, maybe do something a little healthy. Um, and not just with acai, but kind of just add our menu. Or it's debatable what we're going to add. Got it.
Well, something to look forward to. So now you're selling this too. This is the juice, right? Yeah, this is uh, acai juice and acai uh, pomegranate juice. Three two ounces of uh, acai juice for people that, that come by or just want the juice on the run. Oh, got it. Oh, that's kind of convenient. Okay, so let's get into this one because I'm going to eat this one finally. So I wanted actually. No, I did already eat this. I wanted the fiber one. You said the other one's the fiber one, right? Yeah, uh, yeah our dragon fruit is really high in fiber. Okay. Well, I'm going to eat this one instead. This is an acai bowl. And we're adding granola, which is just healthy in general. We have strawberry, coconut, and blueberries. Oh, some bananas as well. Are you going to do your cool chopping skills? Check that out. Look at how good he is. Have you ever chopped your finger? No, I have not. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> That's good to know. So you can find him on all those social media sites, but he's actually going to be at a grand opening this weekend for CrossFit TOB. They're opening a new location on Art Street, I believe, and we're actually doing something with them later on this week, too. So you are going to be out there. We will be at, yeah, we'll be on Art Street for this Saturday for uh, CrossFit TOB, and then the following weekend we will be at Daniel Camarillo Jiu Jitsu for a seminar. So, uh, we, uh, we try to uh, support all the jiu-jitsu seminars and CrossFit events in town. And the Volkslauf, we did the Volkslauf this year also. That makes sense. All right, so we're going to have more with Justin and the Roots Acai and Cafe food truck. I'm going to call it food truck. We'll have more. Right now, Rob, back to you. All right, Kalita, mm. thank you very much. I don't Let's have hands to try it. Looks delicious. Thank you. It's a berry sorbet here. But um, take a look at this truck. It's the Roots Acai and cafe truck and look for everyone who cannot pronounce it he's got you covered ah sa e everybody all right let's go inside so you can uh, see but they have four little things that you can order four little bowls starter there's a protein bowl you can add peanut butter almond butter all this other good stuff and welcome to the truck oh thank you so much and Justin is the owner along with his partner and we have two different ones there. That's the acai. This is the acai one. And then what was this one again? This is a pitaya uh, or dragon fruit. Pitaya or dragon fruit. I didn't try this one. I kind of want to try it. Okay, so tell me a little bit about why you got this started. And then um, this is a new addition, right? Yes. Uh, uh, that's about four months we've had pitaya. We had a lot of people asking about it, so we brought it on our menu. Um, started acai just because I loved it myself. So. Thank you. <laughs> Um, would have it down in LA and then just thought, why, you know, why can't we have it here? Why do I have to wait to, to go down to LA to have acai and pitaya now? Look at you. Globe trotter, or I guess SoCal trotter. Okay, so let's make another one of these up. Let's do this one. Um, what are the little seeds in there? That's from the actual fruit? That's from the actual fruit. Oh, I've no. never actually had dragon fruit, so yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, dragon fruit is um, kind of a funky looking fruit. Really? It, yeah, it looks, it's a, it's a weird little fruit. Oh, okay. You wouldn't really think it, you know, it tastes that. I think great. I've seen that and just been afraid of it at yeah. the store. Yeah, it's kind of kind of scary looking, but uh, it's sense. actually really, really good for you. So people can find you on all of your social media sites, Roots Acai Cafe. Is it and Cafe or just Cafe? It's and Cafe, but either way, you can find us on Yelp, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All, all your locations are all over the place. So you're normally at Mr. Tuxedo, 2409 Brendan. To, uh, yeah, 2409 Brenner's Lane, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, we're going to extend our menu or our, uh, our hours to five days a week uh, once it heats up a little okay. bit more. Um, and then every Sunday we are at the Kaiser Farmer's Market, um, Hagen, Oak, uh, Hagen Oaks Farmer's Market, every Sunday from 8 a.m. to 2 p uh, p.m. And that's where a lot of our regular customers will come find us. Why do you like acai so much? And let's get everyone at home to like it just as much as you do. I love it because it's refreshing. Um, I just know it's good for you. It's just the, ta the taste is, it, there's nothing, you, when people ask what it tastes like, it's hard to explain. You have to try it. You, it I don't you, know, huh? What does it taste It doesn't like? taste, it ta when people ask what it tastes like, it tastes like acai. It tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> and it's refreshing and people will, people get addicted to it where they have to have it. Nice. All right. So thank you so much for being here all morning long and uh, providing uh, Eyewitness News team with breakfast this morning because I know we have a Rob. Sorry, Erica, we didn't get you one. But if you came by a little earlier, we might have gotten you one. Amity had one. Our cameraman had one. So thank you so much. I can't wait to try mine. But again, you can follow them Facebook, Twitter, or anywhere. You can find Roots Cafe, Roots Assay Cafe, sorry, um, on all those social media sites right now. Back to you.